Hello guys. So from week number eight, we are going to start another important topic that is geometry and within that we have to focus on triangles. Now the topic is very very important from the geometry area. In fact, 50% of the weight is, is given to the triangle from the area of geometry, right? And rest all other topics have 50% uh, weightage, right? Before targeting geometry in this particular week, the prerequisite thing is that you should have elementary idea of geometry. When I say elementary idea, I mean to say that the very very basic thing, for example, sum of all the three angles in a triangle is 180 degree, right? Such kind of theorem. So very elementary theorems you should have, uh, you should have an idea. If not, then what I recommend is that you go to or you download NCRT uh, PDFs, right? The maths PDFs of class 9th and 10th. You just scan through it. Take a day and just scan through the entire theorems from the geometry. You don't have to solve any questions. You have to just scan through because you have gone through these theorems in the school days and they are very elementary in nature. So I believe just, just scanning through will refresh those important concepts. Now, the next thing is that you have to, from the triangle, you have to focus everything, but the key focus area would be Pythagoras triplet, uh, Pythagorean triplet and similar triangle. These are the two very, very important topics. If the questions from triangle comes, there is high chances, al almost 99% chances are there. The question would be either based on Pythagorean triplet or similar triangle or maybe combination of those, right? So these two are very, very important. Apart from that, the important things are special triangle because there are various types of triangles, right? But for competitive exam, the special triangles are say, triangles which are 30, 60, 90 degree, right? The angles are 30, 60 degree, 30 or 60 or 90 degree or the triangles which are right triangles, right? Or the triangles which are isosceles triangle or the triangles which are equilateral triangles, right? Or within the right triangle, those triangles which have say integral sides, right? So in that you'll be finding that the Pythagorean triplet will be very much handy, right? Then we have similar triangles. So there are varieties of way wherein similar triangles questions appear, right? In fact, I have given some videos you'll be finding in YouTube also that how do you identify from the question that this question will require the concept of similar triangle. And then very important thing is mass point geometry. This is entirely a new technique to solve a very difficult questions by easy application of common sense. So I have given the elaborate idea about how mass point geometry works and how do we uh, apply the concept in solving certain questions which are based on mass point geometry. Now let me show you from the course where you'll be finding it. So once you log in into the course, you have to now go into the cat quant geometry folder, right? This folder you have to go. So all the geometry related things are put in this particular folder. So as you can see that it starts with the introduction of triangle, then basic permute, basic uh, mensuration from triangle that is perimeter and area, then Pythagorean triplet, right? There is a trick to generate the Pythagorean triplet. You don't have to learn. If you just understand how the trick work, you'll be able to generate all the Pythagorean triplets which exists, right? Then the concept and formula for altitude, angle bisector, then special triangle, as I said, right? I have divided them into three parts. Each part I have dealt with uh, in detail that what are the special triangles and how to deal with and how to identify when the question appears, then how do we identify that's a question of special triangle and which special triangle we have to apply. Then you can skip uh, basic trigonometry right now. If, and if you have no idea about trigonometry, you can skip it, right? But if you have uh, uh, if you have uh, a bit of idea, like a very elementary idea of trigonometry, you can continue with this, else you can skip it. And then you can move to the concept of similar triangles. You have to go through all the similar triangles concept. And I've also given that where you'll be identifying that, how the similar triangle concepts are used. And then you have to move to the mass point geometry. These are the minimum thing which you have to do, but I'll recommend that you should go through entire uh, entire or, or all the videos from this particular topic. Once you are done with this, then definitely you have to move to the solved examples. Once you are done with the theory, uh, triangle theory, then you have to move to the triangle practice problems, right? So within this, I have given almost, you can see that there are 20 practice problems. So comes close to 80 to 90 questions, all with video explanation I have provided. You should be doing 50% of it, right? Or try to do at least 40% of those questions from the practice problem. Once you've done this, then definitely you are at least in a position to handle any question related to triangles. So that's it for this particular week. In the next video, I'll be discussing what we have to do in week number nine.